Good morning, class. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to Grammar. I hope you've had a chance to work on your sentence already and look up the definition if you were able to. And now you're coming to me to finish it off. Okay, so the definition for today is succulent, which means juicy and tender. So it's like delicious. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so remember Robin is still talking from yesterday. Okay. He's trying to convince this stranger dude to join his team. So, this is a new sentence. He's saying you, the stranger, shall enjoy succulent venison. So we're gonna capitalize, and this is the main clause, okay? So we'll mark it with MC, and it's the whole sentence. So you notice there's a period here. So that is where our main clause ends. Our subject, of course, is you, and then the verb, is shall and enjoy, okay? You shall enjoy succulent medicine. Then we have a coordinating conjunction here, CC, okay? And the stoutest tasting ale, okay? And that's it for the first sentence. So next sentence, of course we have to capitalize for two reasons, because it's a new sentence and because it's I. It is also a main clause, okay? And we're actually gonna label this as number one while I'm here. So I is the subject. Sorry, my little S is so small, but that's the subject. Then will is a verb and appoint is a verb as well. I will appoint you my right hand man for. Okay, so that's the end of our new clause. And we can see, cause we're gonna coordinate it using for as a, our coordinating conjunction. And here's where our rule comes into play. We need a comma here before for, okay? Because never is another main clause. Never have I watched such an able staff fighter. Okay, so we're capitalizing I because it is a proper noun and that's also our verb, our subject, sorry. And we have verbs on both sides. So have is a verb and then watched is also a verb, okay? So there you go. That's the next sentence. And make sure that these periods make it into your rewrite too. Okay, and the last part. So tell me is its own thing, okay? It's a main clause all by itself. And we have to capitalize the T because it's a new sentence. And the verb is tell. And this one, me is not the subject. The subject is the stranger. He's just not saying his name or referring to him directly, but it's implied that that's the subject, okay? So just a verb there. And then, this is also a main clause. We're full of main clauses today. Will you become one of my men? And we know that this is a question, so we're gonna do a question mark at the end. I'm gonna try to curve that so you can tell it's a question mark. Okay, and will is a verb, you, is the subject and then become is other verbs. So we've got a little verb sandwich again. Okay, one of preposition. And that's the only preposition today. Wowie. One of my men. Okay, and now Robin Hood is done talking. So I'm gonna actually move my bracket over so I can put N quotation marks. Okay. So there you have it. So please remember again, we're continuing right on from where we were yesterday. So this sh should follow in your rewrite right where it was and make sure that you have your end quotation marks and all of the punctuation that you need. We added a comma here, but don't forget that there are two periods that it gave us and also a colon that it gave us, okay? So make sure you include your rewrite and then there you go. That's grammar for today.